Hey, it's uh, bourbonblog.com live here with Cigar Saturday, Maddie Rock and Dave Mayer. And Maddie, I see you're in a different backdrop. It's the Wooden Indian tonight. You, you see that? Uh, so, you know, we're on the road now. It's good that all of us are uh, are starting to move around again. Um, so they're actually having a Drew Estate event over here. Uh, and it made sense because I like Philly cheesesteaks and I like Dave. Uh, so I, I put those two things together and it sounded like the uh, the perfect road trip. Is it in that order though? First the cheesesteaks, then Dave, or what? I am a husky guy, so yes, Dave, I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, probably cheesesteak first. Uh, as being a husky guy, but Dave still knows I love him. He doesn't take it personally. No, no. <laughs> Dave, it's it's great to see you here on on Cigar Saturday, and and uh, this is a pretty special place there in Pennsylvania. Tell us about it and how it relates to Drew Estate. I know there's some famous things there. The store itself started off. Uh, I took it over about uh, 18 years ago. Uh, it was a small, very small shop in a shopping center around the corner. And uh, we built this shop out of friendship. Uh, it, it is the type of place you really like to come, enjoy, sit back, have a drink. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, one of the original owners of Drew Estate, uh, Marvin Samuels, came in my shop one day and we got very, very friendly, and uh, over the years, uh, when it was time to move over to bigger quarters, uh, I approached him about doing a Drew Estate Lounge, which had never existed, and uh, I, I suggested the League of Bravado Lounge, and, well, he, he just welled up with tears, and he says, come on, let's do it. So that was the beginning of that, and the store itself is just amazingly grown just very very well and we everybody around here enjoys themselves it's a great place amazing I've never been kicked out yet you know 14 14 13 years i've known dave well so if i don't get kicked out that's a big deal we that's to, probably why he likes it so much we, dave yeah we tried to kick him out the problem was he didn't stop long enough for us to say you know get out he just kept on talking so <laughs> See? I'm a I'm a thinking man. He's, he's thinking, and again, this this was the and it was the first uh, Liga Privada Lounge, the original there, uh, at Wooden Indian, and uh, okay. I know Wooden Indian that the name has a lot of significance for cigars. I think a lot of cigars know it, but in case they don't, uh, why don't you all tell okay. us what it is? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That. Say again, Tom. Did I, okay, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, but there's a lounge. Oh no, it's all right. So I know the name Wooden Indian has some real uh, significance in the cigar community. Tell us about that. The Wooden Indian has managed to grow very well, very big. Uh, E-commerce has become a very big part of our life, um, and because we're in Pennsylvania and we're still cigar tax free, we have a lot of wonderful California customers. Uh, we're surrounded by states that have big cigar taxes, so we benefit from them. And when we have an, a party here, uh, we get our friends from New York, New Jersey, Maryland, <laughs> Delaware, coming in from all sorts of mileage. And this is a great party. We're seeing a lot of people. We also have a huge party in September, usually around the time that we release the pancetta, which is our exclusive cigar. Uh, Tom and smiled, so... Tom, Tom has been privy to smoke the pancetta before, so that's yes. exclusive made for uh, for Dave and Dave. So we've had Mr. Mallow on the show before. So that league is exclusively produced for uh, this fine gentleman and uh, and Mr. Mallow. And uh, I saw the smile, Tom. So yes, uh, stay tuned. That's going to be coming back out in September. I might manage to find a couple of them to set up. And this is what, and, and the Wooden Indian is one of the only places you can you can get it. Is that right? The Panchana? Uh, two places. Uh, one of two places. Uh, Barris, Barris in North Jersey, who's a good buddy of mine, and uh, here at the Wooden Indian. It is quite exclusive. So it's a real destination, and if you've ever been to Wooden Indian, or maybe you're watching us there close by, Tell us down below if you've been to Wooden Indian, or maybe tell us, uh, you know, for the viewers, tell us uh, where you're watching from tonight. We always appreciate you all watching on uh, Cigar Saturday here on Bourbon Blanc's channel. But just tell us what you're sipping, what you're smoking. Tell us down below, and uh, 
again, looks like a lot of fun is uh, is being had there at the Wooden Indian. Uh, you've had it for 18 years, right? You said 18 years. Eight years, yeah. Wow. In a completely different in industry, and was in my own shop one day, and the owner looked at me and said, "You having a good time?" I said, "I could retire in a place like this." And a week later, he called me up and said, "Were, were you serious?" And I went, uh, "Yeah, I guess I was." And, uh, that the story ever since it's a good a good place to be in to retire in it's just uh it's a great place the wooden indian there uh maddie you're doing some travels you're doing some events that's kind of what's taking you to that area of the of the east yep. coast right yep. yep it's been fun like i said i got to be you know i came to philly the long way which is a joke uh last night stopped down i was in atlantic city i was in uh tony's baltimore grill so you know we like to talk about the importance of community and history and everything a lot on the show so you want to talk about community uh history 90 you know celebrating its 95th year you know it's been a real staple of atlantic city it's the kind of place where people come in with their uh with their family from generation to generation and uh and we will be doing the show there as well so we will continue with the importance of local business and uh and history on there so like i said you have all the years of history it's a big destination stop it really is. Great place. Yeah. Amazing. Maddie, I, I saw Maddie was posting some photos last night. Uh, check out Maddie's Instagram. He has, he has some great photos. Some pizza. You were doing all kinds of good food. Look like. all kinds of I was like a goldfish. They just kept sprinkling food at me. I kept eating it. So I had one of their legendary uh, sausage pies. They had a new bread pudding, which was, uh, was outstanding. I had some wings, some shrimp, some meat, some cheese. And, and probably to, to food, I probably have cholesterol problems. Uh, after that, but it was worth it. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, definitely a great destination place, uh, which led me again to my next great destinations place. The store's got 60 years of history. Uh, Dave's got all the years of history, but almost two decades behind him here. Um, so like I said, all, when it comes to community stuff and importance and everything else, I think it's good that people remember to come to places that, uh, that make a community an actual community, right? Yes. Uh, we always talk about just how important that is. And something I heard you say, Tom, was a good question. I actually don't have the answer. We'll see if Dave does so. Okay. So I think, you know, what's the significance of the wooden Indian in the cigar world? You know, obviously you call the, the wooden, wooden Indian. Indian so. The wooden Indian itself was originally used in India. It stood outside its tobacco shops to indicate to buyers that they now carry the new American tobaccos. Wow. That, that's where the wooden Indian originally came from. Uh, why they picked it up for the name of this shop. It originally was called the Tobacco Chest. And then they changed the name when it moved from one location to another. But, uh, yeah. Tobacco Chest was the original name. And that started in what, what year did it actually start in? Yeah, it started in 1959 in a local place that was the original indoor mall ever in United States. It was called the Bazaar of All Nations. And the stores had no walls around them. They actually were separated by screens. And it was a different world at that time. From there, they moved over to the first strip store ever in the United States and spent 35 years there. And uh, I, I, I enlarged it 10 years ago. Yeah. No, 12 years ago, we moved over to Okay. Incredible. And again, the space that it's in still is was the original indoor mall. Is that what you said? No, no. It moved from it used the, to be. Uh, about 10 years uh, okay. after it opened into uh, a local strip mall. But the strip mall that it moved to has the significance of being the original strip mall in the United States. The original so strip kind of followed some key places around. I had nothing to do with it, but it happened there. The original strip mall is where it used to be. It moved out of there. Is that original strip mall still standing? It is. Wow. It is. Uh, you'll see the landlord. I go over there. It's around the corner. We, you know, get stuff there. And I Amazing. see the landlord. He still misses us. He calls me the best uh, renter he ever had. I think he likes the guys. I'm not sure. So much history there at the Wooden uh, Indian and just in that uh, that area of the country. And it's, it's so great to see it uh, there behind you. You all want to, is it okay? Could you pan around a little bit, Maddie, to show us the yeah, place? Absolutely. So let's take a look. We'll, uh, we'll even take a look. So 
So you got all the members hanging out here. So we can even take, let's take a walk. We'll go see the Humidor. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go let's take a look at what they got. And uh, feel, you all will feel, I will feel, everybody watching will feel like you're actually there. Yep, yep. So so we got we got Maddie Cam. Maddie Cam, Maddie Cam. So. <laughs> Here we go. So you see people, the, the show is going on now. So people are making their Drew State purchases. Say, yes. There's, there's, All right. Hello. There's Joe. We've heard that Joe came with the story. He was in the back and you had to buy it with Joe. That's, That's right. what we heard. He's been here for a while. <laughs> uh, we're going to go take a look in the, uh, go take a look in the humidor. All right. Beautiful. This is a, so oh, then, wow, this is a good size place, Matty. This is a big place. Live here. And uh, right. you're going to get to see the, you're going to see the sexy Drew Estate guy, Mr. All Ray. Right. Hey, hey, what's happening? Far from sexy, but how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, yes. it's nice seen and viewed. Yes, yes, I see. So Ray, Ray will tell you all the groovy deals going on at uh, Tell us, Ray. Today. Uh, the groovy deals are we have a four-stick deal, which uh, you pick any four Drew Estate or Hoya de Nicaragua. You get a uh, fancy little uh, cigar rest. The new uh, Nicarustica cigar rest. Nice. Buy 10 cigars. You're going to get two more additional cigars and a really nice scented candle, uh, which has a very nice manly aroma to it. it. Smells like Matty Rock. Mm. Yeah. It's a Matty Rock candle. Yeah. And then if you buy 20 or more, or a box of cigars, you get a really cool uh, swag kit that has a roll-up bag, a stick lighter. You get the uh, cigar rest. You get the nice uh, Matty Rock scented c candle mm. and a uh, little canteen as well. So it's it's a great deal. And if you're really feeling, uh, you know, the urge to fill the humidor, uh, we have a ceramic ashtray that goes with the two-box deal. And you get oh, all, wow. and all the other yeah. swag tips. So, so if you get come boxes, on down, back up the truck, we'll load it with swag. These are some, this is some really good, is this all weekend long or? Just today, we'll run the deals tomorrow and then it'll be over on Monday. Yeah. And if, and if you happen to get by any time in the next little while, Maddie's still there. Not only will you get the candle, but you'll get to smell Maddie himself. Yes, exactly. yeah, and I'm I'm a big exactly. proponent of that. Or WoodenIndianTobacco.com. <laughs> okay, I'll put I'll definitely put that up here so that we can. Uh, what's Wooden Indian Tobacco, right? WoodenIndianTobacco.com. WoodenIndianTobacco.com. Uh, great place to be. Always something exciting happening there. You guys will be there with throughout the evening, Matty. Ever you and Ray and everybody? Or? Yep. So the the event uh, the event will finish up this evening. As Dave said, he will be uh, he'll be honoring all the deals tomorrow as well on Sunday. So anybody who's tuning in, uh, feel free to swing on by over on Sunday. Go say hello to Dave and the deals while we're in the humidor. Let me pan out so you can see just how much stuff is in here. Oh, so and, many. Yeah. And what's pretty wild is Dave also has a bunch of old stuff that you're not going to be able to find in a lot of. Ooh, let's see. Let's see some of the favorites of, uh, of Dave's that maybe you, you don't see everywhere. There's so many, and I just that's my biggest qualm in life is yeah. to come in here and try to figure out what Somebody I want to smoke. Yeah. But as you can see, this whole wall to my left is all Drew Estate, and yeah. that's all the Quattro Cinco's, and all the all the Hoya de Nicaragua product, oh. which we really love and are proud to sell. And the next. Wow. You got the padrone and we'll take a walk around. My oh. father's over here in the corner. Take a walk. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just ton, tons of um what what's what's calling your name, Maddie? What are you impressed to see there that you don't see everywhere? Well, I'm gonna shake Dave down before I leave and obviously go see if there's any of the pancettas left. Um we look up here, you like I said, he has a lot of the, the more difficult to find uh League of Providas. You're going to see oh, yeah. the Ratzillas are up here, which are not at all easy to find. Uh, yes, you and I uh, speak frequently about the Pappy Van Winkles. Those oh, are, yes. There's um, a few deals up front so that nice. have the year of the tiger in them that you couldn't even buy in the United States. But wow. uh, I've got some clever people in e commerce. He knows the guy, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you like York than I am, but you can see all the stuff and everybody who's been hankering to get a, a hold of some of the. Aurora Esteli stuff. If you take a look over here, you got the uh, Ooh. exclusives that are in there. 
You got the uh, the Herrera Miami. So, like I said, a bunch of stuff that's difficult to find is in here. We'll go take a cruise around uh, oh, yeah. the rest of the store so you can see everything. So if you're in the area and, and you're thinking, let me find something I maybe haven't seen, find a great place. This is uh, a place to to put on your list, wooden Indian tobacco. Uh, just make make that stop. This is a this is a large place. Great yep, surprise. Yep. We still got the other side to go waddle on over to. So just keep like this. Yep, yep. Like I said, quite a quite a sizable humidor. Um, yes. thing, things that you're looking for. So you just heard that's a 1,200 square feet. Wow. So this, yep. Uh, this is a great. You're, get, you're getting the walkthrough. So, like I said, so here in town, you're looking for some great sticks. And uh, keep in mind, PA is a tax-free cigar state. So my cigar peeps that understand that's all about and not having to drop all the extra tax money. This is your place, man. And like I said, you're going to find. Everybody's going to find something that that fits their palate here. There's zero doubt in my mind. Oh, there's just there's so many. And tell us about that, Maddie. Uh being tax free, does that does that affect the pre tax price and the after tax? How does that work as far as a as far as Pennsylvania? Or maybe Dave can speak to that. Pennsylvania, okay. the only thing that they oh, tax so on not, cigars is the oh, S chip, well, if you remember that from two thousand and seven or two thousand and eight. Uh, right. That's the only thing that Pennsylvania has on their cigars. Wow. Yeah. So when you go to the register you number comes up they add pennsylvania sales tax six percent that's it right our neighbors in one shop you'll go in buy a ten dollar cigar when you go to the register it'll be 1350. you go why oh 35 percent state tax in Jersey. oh my gosh and then they add seven percent sales tax to that so it the, the running joke is here. You buy your gasoline in Jersey, you get your cigars in Pennsylvania. Cigars in Pennsylvania. What and, and what has kept Pennsylvania like that? I mean, has there just been a lot of uh, work you guys have done? The reason was at one point Pennsylvania had five of the largest distributors of cigars in the world in Pennsylvania. Right. So whenever the discussion came up about cigar taxes, there'd be a large regime that would go out there, have a conversation, and that would take care of that. Right. What's holding it back today? My dear wishes every night that it doesn't change. And that hopefully it never will change. And hopefully we'll see other states that will follow suit. It may may take some time, uh, but we're glad to see states where, well, where I've never taxes taxes go backwards. So, Probably not. No, no. no. So we're, we're hoping it stays the same. Well, well, we're glad to hear that about Pennsylvania. Beautiful looking place, Dave. And again, the place to go, woodenindiantobacco.com to learn more, to find Dave. You got, are they on social media too? We can find them on social media. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We're out there everywhere. Out so, there everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, and we can order from that website too, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, in back of us, uh, an area you can't see, which is all shipping and uh, packing and, you know, on a, on a daily basis, we could have uh, 100 boxes going out at the same time. We can, yes. we can do it. We can pack it. We can ship it and get it out usually in two, three days, wherever you are. Wonderful, great place to order your uh, to order your Drew Estate uh, cigars. All kinds of rare cigars, and uh, Maddie is going to look for a uh, a pancetta. There might be some lurking around. I hope I don't have to resort to violence, but it is a pancetta, so I'm willing to do what I need to do, Tom. Maddie, Maddie, pick one up for me too. Yep, yep. So that's double. See, that's why I love Dave. Dave's my book. <laughs> double the violence. So we'll, we'll we'll pick up a pancetta for you as well. Pick up one for me. I'll I'll, I'll smoke it in uh, in Dave's honor. Hopefully, we'll be able to stop by and see you, Dave. I'd love to come out and see you when I'm in that area of the country. That would be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Is is Dave a whiskey fan? Oh yes. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Well, I'll bring something to you too, Dave. I'll make sure I bring you something. Brandy. So make sure I'll, I I will take your finest. Uh, curated artisan root beer kind, sir. I'll bring something for you too, Maddie. We'll slip something in the trunk for everybody. Well, it's quite a party. It'll keep on going on if you're anywhere near Wooden Indian Tobacco there. Uh, again, they would be in what towns if they were anywhere close by this weekend? Tell us again. Havertown, Pennsylvania. So you're close okay. to Philly. I think you're, you're, you're 15, 20 minutes out of center right. Philadelphia. Easy so to 
watching this, you got friends near there, tell them to stop by. If, if you're not there, tell your friends to get on by there because there's a good deal going on and great people. Absolutely. absolutely. And like I said, in the uh, you're, you're getting another history lesson. It's a place that's got a bunch of history uh, run by great people. Uh, Dave didn't even pay me this time to say that. Um, so, again, on your visits, it's a highly suggested place to do to, to come to uh, um, when you're in the Philly area. And like I said, you're able to, oh, you know, I got a 20. I would have done it for 10, but there's no need that he needed to know that. <laughs> you would have done it for 10. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, so now know. with Philly cheesesteak being the, 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 the one of the famous dishes, Dave, what cigar would you pair with a Philly cheesesteak sandwich? Well, you oh, got to put them down. You got to put them down and come back to it afterwards. Okay, put it. Okay, come back to it. If but, you were going to do one, you, okay, you eat a cheesesteak sandwich and you do it after, kind of as your dessert. What would be your cigar of choice? I have to go with a uh, Herrera. Herrera? All right. Very nice. Herrera Astley. That sounds, that sounds like a good a good little match up there. Good choice because, you know, Drew is here today. And it's the least I can do is to have him. See, well, well played, sir. <laughs> Well played. <laughs> Remember, we love shameless self-promotion and advertising here. Absolutely. Definitely proponents. What are you sipping on today there, Tom? Where I am having, I'm actually having some Whistle Pig tin. Uh, I'm having that. And uh, though it is, um, it's one of the, uh, well, it's one of the cigars I picked up at Corona a few weeks ago. It is their uh, Corona Club exclusive beach acid. So I wanted to do something specific to a cigar store. And then when I see Maddie next, we'll, sp we'll smoke the pancetta in honor of Dave. Yes, sir, my brother. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us, Dave, Maddie, Ray, everybody. I hope it's a really good party as it continues going on. And again, everybody, take a moment, like this, share this, and make sure you follow Wooden Indian Tobacco everywhere it is to be followed. Bookmark it, order some cigars, and go by and see them when you're near Philly. Thank you, Tom. Absolutely, my brother. Like I said, definitely family here. Uh, and I was happy I was able to make it out and uh, be back on the road and doing cool stuff like this. Absolutely, guys. Thanks for watching us. And uh, we will see you all next week right here, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Bourbon Blogs channel. And keep on following Matt. Maddie, where are you headed to next? Are you going anywhere else on the road this weekend? Keep following Maddie too. So, so next week I will be up at the Mohegan Sun for the big barbecue event. Working with Ooh. friends from uh, from Handsome Devil, so we will probably be broadcasting uh, live yet again from from somewhere else on the road. So we'll keep it up, uh, being on the road, visiting our friends and everything, and doing what we're supposed to be doing, and uh, being the social creatures that we are, brother. That's right. You said the Mohegan. Tell us about that event real quick. Mohegan Sun. It's up in uh, it's up in Connecticut. Um, they're going to be doing a big barbecue event there. I will uh, go drop a link on my. Uh, on my Instagram. Drop a link. Hey, Check out the Instagram. Maddie, it's been fun. And uh, everybody, thanks for joining us on the first uh, Saturday of June on Cigar Saturday. Much more fun stuff to come that we're excited to tell you about on Cigar Saturday ahead. And again, like, subscribe to this channel. You'll be seeing it. Much love. Cheers. Much love, y'all. Be and good. Just the most important thing is I will be giving Maddie two cigars for you. So you will probably be getting. Oh, thanks, Dave. Two and one, you know the problem. Okay. Look, Ray, Ray, Ray just heard that. Oh, look, look, he's like, I know. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That means a lot. I'll, I really will look forward to smoking those, Dave. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh-oh, uh, 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 what? what's happening now? Oh, are we going to actually see them? We're going to see the proof? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know they're coming now because I've seen them. I still don't have them in hand yet, fella. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Still don't have them in hand yet, huh? <laughs> gonna stick them in that pocket. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Cheers. All right. Much Thanks, love. Thanks, everybody. Much love.